Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Topps Finest Baseball 8 box pick your team number 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action, appreciate it On Wednesday the 24th got Derek with that triple last bot mojo, bought the last three teams to help make this break happen, so thanks to him and thanks to everybody else who got their teams earlier on, appreciate that too Um, I'll answer that question off the record. There. On the record, both are fine, excellent products. And I'd be happy to group break with anybody who's willing to get into the action any day of the week during the hours that I'm live. You never know who's watching or listening, Derek. This is being recorded, so. Um, you can come visit, visit the shop, kick back and rap about the hobby. It's at a 150 Dustin May for the Dodgers, that'll be for Dean. Ooh, Seth Brown, rookie autograph. Finest firsts. That'll be for the Oakland A's. Joe with the Athletics. Derek's in New Hampshire. Derek. Pl plane tickets are extremely cheap now. Out of 250 we can quarantine you. You, sh you can quarantine yourself in a nice hotel for a couple weeks, and then you can come hang out. Parallel. These will be top loaded before they get sorted and shipped out, of course. And Dustin May autograph this time. He's got a cool auto. That'll go to the Dodgers Dean with my Dodgers. If your wife would approve, bring the wife. What, are you telling me the wife wouldn't want a nice little vacation to uh, sunny Southern California? We're in Hermosa Beach. It's not like we're in the we're, we're in the middle of nowhere in California. We are right if we go to the map. We're right here at the top of Pier Avenue and PCH. You can just walk right down to the pier right there. On a nice day, I can just look right to the ocean. Well, that's what I'm saying, you know. We'll take all the proper precautions. Correct, Josh, it's one autograph per mini. I think Bowman's Best is where there's two per mini, if you're thinking of the similar size boxes. Yes, I, I have seen a couple of the man insert autographs. Those do exist. We have seen one or two.
Yeah, Ace, that joke is not funny. Dude, that's not cool. It's actually kind of offensive, so let's not do that again. That was made clear the first time, but let's make it even more clear now the second time. All right, second box. All right, well, Derek, looks like you'll have to wait until, I guess there's still COVID all around. I guess you have to wait until just whenever a whenever, uh, vaccine is out. These are, these are the man cards right here. Sometimes they could be autographed. We've, we've seen one or two of them before. And we've got Mauricio Dubon. That'll be for the Giants. That's going to go to Chris Walker. Uh, we're about, how far are we? About seven hours, seven, eight hours away from San Francisco? 250. Hour and a half plane, plane ride, a little under an hour and a half. Charlie Morton to 250. Seven, eight hour drive, hour and a half plane ride, not too bad. Maybe a little bit longer if you take your time up the coast. All right, three out of 50, we've got Rafael Devers, gold autograph. Derek Melanson, Red Sox, there you go. So, once all this COVID stuff dies down, Eric, you can take a nice, uh, a nice California coast trip. We're close to the airport too. Hermosa Beach is maybe 20, I guess with, there's always traffic, but maybe 20, 30 minutes, depending on traffic away from the airport. Maybe 15 minutes to the airport if you kind of red eye it. But there you go. Yeah, make a little make a little west coast a little west coast swing. Don, yes, you're absolutely correct. That the hit parade box number three is a chance to enter that Kyler Murray mixer. Featuring that Kyler Murray and then there's a whole list of boxes in that item description. Yeah, everyone, I mean, once we're still remodeling the shop here, ladies and gentlemen, so I don't think we'll be open to the public for a little bit. And even then, it might be a very limited capacity. But once it's safer to travel, we would, we would definitely encourage everybody to eventually come visit Jaspies. We plan to be here for a while. You know, there's a uh, Boba Shet 99. We plan to be here for many, many years. So whether it's maybe next year or or in the future, hopefully everyone can visit at least once. We've got a big, we've got a big shop here, 3,000 square feet of hobby goodness. There's Aristides Aquino. That'll be for the Reds. That'll be for Adam Harper. Yeah, well, Callie, you're always you're you're close by. You're you always get VIP treatment because you're right near us. Yeah, I think it'll be. 
I think it'll be the usual that you'll see anywhere. I don't think we'll have like big trade nights or anything like that. Not, not maybe not for a while. If we do, maybe they'll be outdoors in the with limited capacity, maybe. You know, we have a big parking lot. There's Bobby Bradley. I'm sorry, Josh. What? Numbered was that? Ooh, that's a big parking lot, Callie. If you can let us, if you can let us use a section of the Best Buy parking lot, get a food truck in there, have a little trade night in there, maybe a special Jaspi, Jaspi discount for uh, at Best Buy. For like, if they say if they show Jaspi ten at at uh, Best Buy checkout. They can get like a, I don't know, ten dollars off a minimum fifty dollar purchase of a technology item to watch Shaspi stream, something like that. We tried to get BGS grading here for a grand opening or PSA. They're they're closer to us. They're in they're in Orange County, just about an hour or so south of us. But I guess they they don't really do. A lot of the big public type things. Maybe they'll they'll do some big conventions, big card shows here and there, but I don't think they, they go too often. To uh, to individual shops. Beck and Beckett's in Dallas, so I think we're gonna have a slimmer chance of getting their services. Uh, at our at our shop. The hit parade, um, well, it's probably going to be tomorrow, Don. Whenever it sells out. Usually at the, I usually go on air around 1 o'clock LA time, 4 o'clock Eastern. And then uh, I start going through orders and I start building out a schedule of stuff that's been sold out. So you can kind of check in around then and see if there's a schedule up, and then we'll go from there. But really, it's when it fills, it sells, and it's first to fill, first to break. Abraham Toro. Um, we can do a daytime thing. I don't know, Callie. We'll figure it out. Is the parking lot really available for rent? Astros, that'll be for Lenny. Yes, I do remember the 90s band Blur. And there is Song, Song 2. Which was originally intended to be more of a, a joke song, making fun of American rock and roll music. They're a very, very British band. They've got some good records, but they're a very quirky British band. And ironically, that happened to be one of their uh, biggest hits. Right, yeah, and then I think some of their, one, one of, I forget who, was it the drummer? Side Project, I think, was, uh, did become Gorillaz. I want to say the lead singer and the drummer, Damon Alburn and who, maybe the drummer, I think, or the guitarist, something like that. They were part of the crew that became Gorillaz. I think Blur still existed as, Blur still existed as is. It was kind of a, I think they had like, I think they had, was RJD2 on that? Part of that sort of pseudo indie indie supergroup. There were a couple other a couple other names that were attached to that project that were kind of big in that sort of indie space. Yeah, Gorillaz has some pretty pretty strong singles too. They're probably more popular here in the United States than 
than Blur is actually. Although in the UK, Blur would probably be the bigger band, I would say. But maybe not. Maybe not. A lot of quality Brit pop bands from the from that era. So for some break credit, Callie, we can uh, we can take the take the Best Buy parking lot. We'll have to think about that. I'm down. All right. Next box, we got Kyle Schwarber to 150. I don't remember Hum. And we got a Zach Collins, 18 out of 99, green shimmer autograph for Nicholas Kasberg and the White Sox. There's Yohan Mankata, 250. I think the White Sox could have a really good team in a couple years. A lot of young. Young prospects. And we've got Abraham Toro, finest first autograph. I feel like he needs to expand that auto a little bit. That goes to Lenny and the Astros. All right, three more boxes to go. Love to pick my brain and others' brains about what? What's available in the San Francisco area? Lots available in San Francisco. I, I'm, I'm not too familiar with the city, but there might be people up there. I don't know, there's good food, museums, the Golden Gate Bridge, wine if you into that sort of thing. Oh, hobby wise? Who's? I don't know. I don't know of any. There's got to be something up there. There's got. There's got to be something in a big city like that. There's got to be someone with a with a halfway decent hobby shop. Trevor Story, 34 out of 99 for the Rocks. Maybe something on Fisherman's Wharf, Rex is saying. I feel like rent's so expensive there in the city and along the wharf. Or Zach Collins. Uh, could a hobby shop really survive out there? If you're gonna look, I'll bet if you find one, it'll be like in Concord or Walnut Creek or San Jose or something like that. Zach Collins, White Sox. That will be Nicholas Casper. But I don't know, maybe. Who knows? 46 out of 50, Walker Bueller. That'll be for the Dodgers. That's going to go to Dean.
And we've got John Means Business, Orioles. That'll be for Derek Melanson, one of the last spot mojo teams. All right. Next box. So our two boxes to go, four autographs to go. We're going to do a clearly authentic break after this, and then that should bring us to the... Uh, a little over the usual close of our night, but yeah, I think that's a good way to clearly authentic. A brand new release will be a good way to do it. Bears Fury Real, what up? You bought an RV two weeks ago and you brought the RV home today. Nice, where are you gonna go? Ooh, look at this. Three out of five Ichiro. Mariners. That's gonna be Aaron Tooley. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! It's pretty nice. Nice one for Aaron Tooley and the M's. And nice Keston Hira autograph. 141 to 150. That's going to be for Nicholas Kasberg and the Brew Crew. And we've got Brock Burke, Rangers. That's going to go to Michael Gallucci from the Texas Rangers. Last box coming up. Gotcha. Barrett's got some more information. We're going to go to Wisconsin. It's not a drivable and you need a, oh, you need a truck to pull it. It's not the exact brand, same brand, same exact gear, but ours had upgrades on it. All right. There you go. I want, I, I want to get a, some kind of RV type unit and then uh, maybe go to, maybe go to different, all the different MLB ballparks. That'd be a nice summer vacation. We'll do that someday. Maybe we can. Could we? Could we break out of this RV? I guess if we. I mean, by the time I get to that level, maybe there'll be enough internet technology. Maybe there'll be enough 5G technology to be able to harness the power of 5G, and then. Uh, and then do group breaks from remote sites. That'd be pretty fun. All 
All right, last box. Good luck. Yeah, I guess you do have to go to a local campground, not at a not at a ballpark. Just pull up the old KOA map. We'll figure it out. There's Chipper Jones, a chip off the old block. Matthew Shira and the Braves. Nice. This is a nice break. And an orange, Max Muncie. 14 out of 25, orange. For the Dodgers, that'll be for Dean. And a blue, Brock Burke to 150. 89 out of 150. Yeah, I think there was some internet rumor, Darksiders, that somehow 5G towers carry COVID. <laughs> so like, there was like there were the, these kids like tearing down COVID, like 5G towers. At least that's what the that's what I heard about countries ripping down 5G towers. All right, here's a quick recap. It was a pretty nice break. That's out of five. Nice Devers, Dustin May, and nice, good stuff. Good break, ladies and gentlemen. That was Pick Your Team 10 in the books. Let's give away a little bit of break credit. So let's flip back to the product description. If you bought at least two teams, you get one entry. Four teams, two entries, so on and so forth, even numbers. So if you bought three teams, you only get one entry, only two count. All right, so let's sort by column A by your name. So Adam, you had four teams, so that counts as two entries. Armando, you have four teams, two entries. Chris Walker, you have two teams, that's an entry. DDC, also two teams, one entry. So Derek, you got three teams, only two count for this promo. It's still an entry though. EA, two teams, one entry. Matthew Shira, two teams, one entry. Michael Gallucci has two teams, that's one entry. And Nicholas Casper, two teams, one entry. All right? So let's take a top level view of this, make sure I got everybody. So Adrian Aaron only had one team, Adam only had one, Paul Raj only one, Dean only one, Joe only one. Joe. All right. All right, so there's a blank list right there. And I think it's the top five names get $40 of break credit each. That's not too shabby. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. There you go. Six and a four, ten times. So once again, top five after ten. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five. Nine and tenth and final time. Top five after ten. Michael, Armando, Chris, Adam, and Nicholas. Thanks very much to the top five for not only getting into the break. We thank you for that. We appreciate you getting two teams. Congrats to you winning. I want to print that out and we'll send out that break credit. Check your emails. If you have multiple emails, check both. Check your spam folders. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.